Hi, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And this video uh, is going to be a little different, just a really quick, quick fix here. If you're fighting a high pH problem, I know a lot of people do, all their chemicals are in line, they're chlorine, they keep it two and a half, and the alkalinity is, you know, 80 to 100, and the cyanuric acid is 30 to 50, everything is in line. But the, the, the problem is the high pH, and they don't understand why. Um, I had this problem on my route in Arizona, uh, and it, some people that had above ground pools in Oregon would have this problem as well. And they just didn't understand it, and I would ask them a series of questions. A um, gentleman asked me on my website, uh, you know, I'm having a high pH problem. And so I go through all the questions, what kind of pool do you have? It's like, well, I have a fiberglass pool. So it's not a plaster pool, he just didn't get it recently plastered. So I would ask him, did you happen to over, overuse any sodium bicarb or pH up, alkalinity up, anything like that? Uh, did you overdose on that? No, didn't do that. Haven't used it in two months. You know, okay, what about your fill water? You know, what's the pH of your fill water? He says, I'm on city water, it's 7.4. And then I ask him, okay, well, what about slides and waterfalls, water features? S lots of splashing around, that can cause the pH to, to rise naturally as well. I say, no, we're, I'm retired, just me and my wife. Uh, splash around two, three times a week, you know, just kind of just kind of do that. But I'm really stuck on this high pH, you know. I, I put acid in. I, I get the pH down to 7.4, I go back a week later, and it's, a, it's, a, it's over 8. It's 8.82, 8, and I just don't understand why. And the last question I ask is, are you using calcium hypochlorite? And he said, yeah, I am. And I said, that's your problem right there. You see, calcium hypochlorite has a pH of 12. And if you are at 7.4 and you're adding 12 to the the pool then obviously the pH is going to continue to rise and I said you shock on a weekly basis too don't you and he says yes I do you know he's going through uh, I think three or four pounds a week and I said number one you need to stop doing that if your chemicals are in line there's no reason reason to shock okay and I know that comes as maybe a surprise to some of you in Go ahead and check out that other video on on the on the myths about uh, shocking a pool for weekly pool maintenance. But I said stop using calcium hypochlorite, switch to liquid chlorine, um, sodium hypochlorite, and see what happens. Well, he emails back a month later, and he says that the pH is stabilized. It's at seven four. So. Uh, there you go. That's a real quick fix. Uh, if your chemicals are in line and you're having a high pH problem, you don't understand why, maybe you're using calcium hypochlorite. Go ahead and switch to sodium uh, hypochlorite liquid and see what happens. So anyway, uh, I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. Hope you liked it. Uh, go ahead and check out my um, website. It's in the description. And like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. So, until next time, happy swimming and stay safe. Bye.